We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come, we come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America, better known as uh, uh, Babylon and Egypt, right? First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indian, Jamaicans, Levi, the Haitians, Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, Gad, the North American Indians, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, Zebulon, the Guatemala, the Panama, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Asher, Colombia, to Uruguay, Naphtali, Argentina, to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel who our big brother, Yahweh Shai, is coming to redeem, man. One third the elect. You know, give me uh, 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 Titus 1 and 2. Because you have a lot of people, they always come by and they want to know, what, 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 what is this about, you know? Yeah. First and foremost, this is what it's about. Go ahead. This is uh, Titus chapter 1, verse 2. Sure, it says, in hope of eternal life. In hope of eternal life, man. That's why we come out here week in and week out. When you go into that word hope, it's an expectation, man. And the expectation is that we are doing enough for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in, in that day. He, he see us fit, man, to, to raise us up to the chariots, man. Because there's another expectation that's going to be it's gonna be destruction for two-thirds, man. And you other nations, you heathen nations, man. You know? <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. And it says, in hope of eternal life, which Yahweh, they cannot lie. But he cannot lie. When you read in, in Numbers 23 and 19, they tell you, Yahweh was a man, he should not lie, man. So every 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 oracle of, of this book, man, is going to come true, man. Whether you people like it or not. A lot of people can't, when they hear these oracles, they can't stand it, man. Because it might not uh, fit you in to, to the salvation, man. You know? The Lord has his chosen, man, which is Israel. And, in that, and within that chosen, he has a, 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 a special group, which you'll call the elect, man. Go ahead. It's a promise, uh, promised uh, before the world began. He promised that before the world began. The elect was created when you read Ephesians, uh, the, the, the first chapter. You get that, you get that for me. Uh, uh, Ephesians, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it's, uh, uh, verse three, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching. Manifest his word through preaching, man. This gospel must be preached to all nations before the end comes. No. What's that, Ephesians? You got it? Uh, one, one and three. <clears throat> I, okay, Con. This is Ephesians 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the power and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who has blessed us with all eternal, with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Mashiach. <clears throat> According as he hath chosen us in him. Before the foundations chosen, of the world. He has chosen us, man. Right? We special. That special treasure you read about in uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7. Right? Go ahead. Uh, and it says, And according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So we separate and without blame, man, with no blemish, man. Right? That's why it says holy, man. We separate from these other nations. Because the Lord said we were going to be above all nations, man. Get up on the face of the earth. Go ahead. Having pre, pre de, uh, predestinated us. Predestinated meaning beforehand, right? Go ahead. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself. Con, the adoption to up unto himself, him, himself. It was given to the Israelites, man. Go ahead. According to the good pleasure of his will. Going to the good pledge, the desires of his his will, man. So the Lord chose Jacob and then choose Esau. That was the Lord's will. That's what that that, that was that's what uh, uh that pleased his desire, man. Come. Go and it says, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach mm -hmm. to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, mm -hmm. to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the end of the love. God, we the ones accepted in the end of the love, not Esau. And that's what Esau does in these particular times now. When he see the camp, he's calling himself, hey, I'm a heathen, I'm a Gentile, but uh, he, <coughs> I be can saying, make it. he be saying, oh, yeah, I can make it, man, because the Lord died, you know, so whosoever should call on the name. 
you know? No, nah, it ain't like that. <laughs> we was going over that on the way down here, man. It's not like that, man. The Lord chose us to be that special people above everybody, man. Uh, this is uh, uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, for thou art in holy people until Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Go ahead. And it says, for thou art in holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power has chosen thee to be a special people. That special people, that special treasure, man. When you have a treasure, hey, you look after it, man. This is this is this is your your thing, man. That you don't want to share with nobody else, man. It says let and, no man take your crown. Huh? And that love he has for us, he don't want to share with you other nations, man. You uh Edomites, you uh uh, uh Egyptians, you Hamites, you Japhites, man, to just put it in a hole. You know? He don't want to share that love he, he gave to us to, with you. And also, you conceal your treasure. You know what I'm saying? You conceal it, you hide it. Oh, that's yeah. mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what he did with the leg men. Like, like 15, 20 years ago, nobody knew when they see men preaching. Now, nobody knew these were going to be the brothers that's here in St. Louis preaching. They didn't know that. They didn't know that these brothers were going to be in, 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 uh, in uh, mid, mid Missouri teaching. You know? So that's that, that's that, that's that treasure he had hidden, man. Then, hey, we in the party right now. This the, this the last party. He opened up the tray. Hey, that's, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's a quick, it's a quick precept for you, Ock. This is 2 Corinthians 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the power, even the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the father of mercies, mm -hmm. and the power of all comfort. How will all comfort, man. Go ahead. And it says, Who comforted us in all our tribulation? God. And what's the comfort, man? The scriptures, man. They tell you that in uh, John the 14th chapter, 26th verse. Right? Is that what he left with us? Uh, yeah. Right? He left the comfort, which are the scriptures, man. It says, Who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them? Comfort you in all your tribulations, all your anguish, man. All, all the, the problems that come at you on a daily basis, man. From waking up in the morning, having to come out here and on this slavery, this slab. This is the modern day slavery, getting up, going to work, right? And then you gotta argue with, you. if you got a spouse, you gotta argue with them before you leave. Then you gotta go deal with Esau at the job. Pay taxes. And then you gotta deal with your car that ain't working right. But I said pay taxes. Pay taxes, come. Then you gotta deal with two thirds on the job. Then you gotta deal with how beating them at the corner store. <laughs> so yeah. hey man, it's 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 hey these afflictions, man, but the Lord said they're gonna be light. They, you know, they're gonna be light, they're light afflictions, man, just for a moment. Yeah, right. It says, Who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in in any trouble. And we comfort each other, man, the brotherhood. That's why brothers, when you meet brothers, hey, you meet brothers, man, they, they brothers trade phone numbers. We and we comfort each other, man. Because we the only ones who we can really tell our true problems to and, and brothers understand it. Huh. You know, you can't tell your true problems to your spouse, man. Or your, or your uh, even now your parents, man. Yeah, you Because it's all spiritual, it's on a different level now. You tell your parents, they're like, man, just be happy, you got a job. Yeah. <laughs> you be all right, no, you man. be all right. Hey, I've man. had to work my whole life. Life is more than toil, man. It's more than fucking going hey. to a nine to five. They be like, baby, just be glad you a bug friend. Yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Shit. I heard that one before. No, you heard that one a minute ago. <laughs> just be glad you a bug friend and you free. Glad to be alive. Mm -hmm. Shit. In hell? For right. what? What Paul say? Paul said, I, I, he rather be in the spiritual yeah. world, but he's only here for, for the for the elect, man. Yeah. Paul wanted to go. He Paul was catching so much hell, he wanted to get up out of there, man. You know? And it says, who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh. For as the suffering of Mashiach abound in us, that's why it says we have the mind of the Lord. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai because we suffering like Yahweh Shai did, man. Not to the extent, you know what I'm saying? But that time is coming where some men may have to taste of that, that, that type of cup. 
you know? But we're, we, we're suffering like Yahweh Shah did, man. You know? Because what? Everybody was against him. The same ones he wanted to save was going at him. It says, for as we, it says, for as the suffering of Mashiach abound in us, so our consolation also abideth with Mashiach, by Mashiach. And that consolation is like, when you go to the game show, the consolation price, you didn't, you, didn't, you know, it's a, it's a prize, man. You know? So that prize is what? Salvation, man. Eternal life, man, like the brother in Titus 1. You know? So that's why we come out here week in and week out, man. Prophesy against this uh, uh, kingdom, man. You know? It says, in what, it says, in whether we be afflicted, it is our consolation and salvation, which is... And salvation, there it is. Come. Deliver us from your enemies, man. That's what salvation means. Uh, soterio, I think, soteria in the uh, Greek. <clears throat> Go ahead. Which is effectually in the enduring of the same suffering which we also suffer. Mm -hmm. Or whether we be comforted it is for your consolation and salvation. So we going through the same things Yahweh Shai went through, but not, not to that full extent. But it's coming. You know what I'm saying? It's coming, man. Where well, we're going to be getting persecuted and beat, it's coming. You know? But we have to go through that to, uh, it, it, to be heirs, man. Where you read in Romans, man. And that's another reason this place have to be uh, destroyed, man. Yeah, look at that a, shit. There was a vile, affection, abomination walking by, man. We just seen it on, on the bus, two-faced, and, and then we seen it right walk by, man. These damn sodomite ass uh, men and women, man. That's another reason this place has to go down, man. Man, if we here 20 more years, everybody gonna be fagged out. We just drop dead from cancer or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Just drop dead, you know? Uh, this Jeremiah 28 and 8. <clears throat> the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Many countries, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old. So that's, that's, that lets you know it's reincarnation. Why would they say before me and before thee of old, man? Uh -huh. But there were no remembrance of, of, of things in the past, man, when you read Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. So when you, you read the scriptures, when you see those names, Ezekiel, Daniel, right? When you see Peter. When you see Habakkuk, Nahum, these are the prophets, man. They came out and prophesied against that particular kingdom that they were in captivity under. Go ahead. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. And great kingdoms, man. Many countries, man. And that's what we prophesied against America, which is supposed to be that great kingdom, man. We are those same men coming back, man. That's why we are here prophesying again. So Ezekiel, Daniel, Nahum, Habakkuk, Michael, all them dudes, Joel, they're here, man. They're back on the turf again, prophesying against the, the kingdom that they're in. Some of them are in the kingdom of London. Some are in the kingdom of, of Holland. Some are in that, down in, in, in uh, the interiors of Africa. Some in the Philippines prophesying against them kingdoms, man. The different countries, go ahead. Prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. and against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war. Of and war. Go ahead. And of evil. And of evil, because when you have war, it's evil. Just, the, just straight evil, man. How they make GMOs, poison the food, the water, the air. We prophesy against that. We prophesy, on, on, prophesy against how they just, the, the, the system is messed up. Or how they don't care about when they, we read in Psalms 83, they trying to make us not bro, more be a nation. We prophesy against that. We prophesy on war to come. We tell you World War III is, in, is at hand, man. These Edomites you know? have placed proxies all over the planet Earth. You might see a nation that's so-called Australia, but Esau runs that. Come. You might see a nation that's what? Saudi Arabia? Esau set them up. Mm -hmm. That's why you see brothers all across the planet Earth, because this man has, has took the whole planet Earth. Job 9 and 24 says the Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So that's why brothers, you see the prophets on every four corners of the Earth. You'd be like, why are they not all in America? Because Esau is not just ruling in America. Yeah. Right. Why y'all ain't, ain't all in the same city? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. Man, that's of good, pestilence, bro. man. This this that's devil, so man, has, 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 he has so much biological warfare going on right now. Just just like last month, everybody was sick, man. They put a new strand of, of, of pestilence out there, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Everybody messed up. 
So we, we prophesy against that, man. We tell you. We tell our people, man. For you heathens, man, we don't care. Y'all do whatever y'all want to. This is for Israel, man. And the elect mainly out of Israel. Because two-thirds are way past wicked. The scripture tell you in Zechariah the 13th chapter that two-thirds are going to be cut off. Get that. Okay, so get that on the article. I got it on the Yeah, because we were just talking before how the brothers went. Say how Trump uh how Trump basically said he gonna take away the guns. Mm -hmm. He basically said it in those words, and I got a little article on it or whatever. Uh just probably read a couple paragraphs off of it or whatever. Done. And uh this is New York Times. Right the screen. It's New York Times. Let's see. Entitled Trump stuns lawmakers with semen and brace of comprehensive gun comprehensive gun control. Huh. So he making decisions about that gun control. Because you got to remember, the kids marched on Washington, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so, they let them out of yeah. school and gave them yeah. buses. So he got he to gotta react to what the kids want. Yep. He's having them walkouts, you know? Mm -hmm. Which was all planned because they all they got to do is they, they start these Facebook groups and they so-called say, oh, join, but they think it's the so-called kids behind it. But ain't nothing but, that could be an algorithm that set that up. Yeah, yeah. All they got to do is set the algorithm, have it go add people, because that does the, the footwork for them. Keywords. Yeah, keywords. Key word, yeah, yeah yes. Yep. And all this, it starts like a small little fire. These kids don't know what's up. Where'd they get the buses? Where'd they get the time? That's organized, man. Those kids aren't that organized to, to be able to do that. And when, what happened five minutes after the shooting, they had so-called a lady talking about, my daughter was killed by gun. What are you going to do, Trump? What are you going to do, Trump? So that it, that's all painted, man. It's all ordo ab chaos. Yeah, they probably, they probably uh, private school crisis actors. <laughs> In fact, they are. It's uh, one of those guys, I don't know his name, I think his name is Doug. He's like an Edomite, a little skinny Edomite. They, they call him a crisis actor because he was known.